it's time for me to get my fabric out and my sewing machine out and I've got some blue fabric, some white and some yellow um, and um, you've got to start somewhere with all this uh, fabric so we're going to start with blue because we're going to build an extension Seconds. I know this is daft, but there's so many things that I get so happy about. <laughs> happy about the fact that I can go over here and somewhere, and somewhere down there. You can tell we script our stuff out to the point where everything's perfectly executed. <laughs> Absolutely. But anyway, I'm really happy about that. I can turn my wash sewing machine on. Happy days! You made me jump through hoops for this, for putting the plug in. Look, I'm happy about it and I just want to share my happiness. <laughs> Quite frankly, it's the most pathetic thing in the world. But I'm happy about it and it's brilliant. <sighs> well, that's me freed of the madness of the seal loft so I can get on with editing the episode. So, well, not that episode because it's still being filmed, but... You know, I can get on with my video editing in here while the seal maker or whatever she is gets on with her stuff next door. <laughs> It's not a crisis, uh, we'll just have to get a nice little bulb, um, but I can still sew, I uh, just won't have as much light. <laughs> well, this is the, um, I'm currently uh, pinning um, the seam that's going to be at the back of the um, our extension and um, I want a very a, a good deep seam because I'm going to be putting grommets through this um, and that's how we're going to attach it to the frame um, is just by um, cord so I, I want a, a nice deep seam so that the grommets can go through two pieces of fabric um, but um, one of the uh, really handy devices to have um, when you're doing seams like this is this little ruler and you can mark off exactly how deep you want it and then that way when you're putting it down everything is just exactly the same length and then the other uh, tip is um, if you are going to pin um, to pin um, at 90 degrees to the way you're going to sew um, that way, um, as you're sewing, you can either pull the pins out and it's dead easy or, depending on if you're how lazy you can are, you can actually just sew over them and it will just go over the pin. So, as I say, put them at 90 degrees. So, that's the uh, tips on doing the back of this uh, extension. Sake. Are you glad you're in? Yeah, I'm very glad I'm in. It's absolutely horrible out there, and I, horrible actually is the way I always say it. You know, when it's like really bad, it's not horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do some uh, measuring today. What I'll do, I'll I'll just have to measure it myself. Just make sure I've got my measurements right, 
uh, but at least uh, I'm inside today doing sewing, so ugh. But I'll wait until the sun's a little bit up before I sun? start that. Well, what, what passes for the sun in these latitudes? <laughs> So all I've done so far is um, I've stitched um, two pieces of fabric together um, and this is going to be the middle of our extension and I've also um, the, side, the edges, the back and the front, I've put a large uh, seam on and for those astute, add um, in my last little bit I'd put it about a couple of centimetres. Um, I decided I wanted a bigger seam. Um, I needed a bit shorter, so I just made a bigger seam here. Um, yeah, so I've got that. So now what I've got to do is I've got to cut the holes for the back stays um, because <laughs> they are going to be in the way of our extension. So I am absolutely scared. So I think what I'll do is I'll go and have another quick measure just to make sure that I've got it right before I actually cut the fabric because it's like ah! I'd, it's one of those things you know you want to get it right and just a bit apprehensive shall we say <laughs> that um, one of my uh, measurements was out by a couple of centimeters so you know at least now I feel confident um, but because um, the back stays are at an angle um, I am going to have to cut a bit further on than where um, uh, I've got it because you don't know how high the fabric is going to sit so I've got a little uh, a couple of little chalk marks so they're going to create one of my lines um, and then I just need a, a distance out so what I've done is I've cut the fabric up to my dot that I'd made and then I've done a, a y-shaped slit um, now, on the other side, because I've already pinned it, I've pinned it all down, just sort of folding the fabric, and I fold my Y split down, so it's made a much wider slit in my fabric. Um, what I'll do is I'll pin the other side, and then we'll go outside and we'll remeasure because it's much easier at this stage if I need to make my slit a bit wider or anything like that it's much easier to do it at this stage okay so um, we've got the slits done now and uh, we've got a tie and that will go on to our dinghy hoist um, and what I've done now is I've just marked off um, here's a little X and uh, this is where the grommets are going to go um, and it just works out that they're going to be at the ends and for the longer section it'll be just uh, at the ends and one in the middle so that's where the grommets are going to go and I've also marked another X a bit further on down and um, this is where our um, main halyard will go um, and it'll be like this really but by having the main halyard and the dinghy hoist that will just keep the center up a bit and that's my plan well all you're going to see is blue <laughs> working to plan but that's normal for us um we're gonna have to put something on the back just so that um it space we, is better it space is better yeah. but also i think we need something to uh, areas where it attaches and it stops it from sliding around yeah so i'm gonna have to have a think about that but it's <laughs> gonna be a bit crazy in here <laughs> okay so um 
As well as at the back, I think the other problem I have here at the front is um, where I've got the rope coming out. Because I've got the rope coming out down here at the bottom. And I actually think maybe I need the rope up coming out about up here. Um, that will still bring it down, but it just means that this bit I'll be able to A, lift it up so that I can um, get under here. So that if you don't do that, you nearly threw me overboard. <laughs> Sorry, Beth, as I, as I throw the camera lady overboard. You know? Yeah, so I think I need to have that a little bit higher. <laughs> oh, take uh, the Ellie hat off. Um, Beverly and I agreed that what we needed is we needed some loops uh, to pull the front down um, and go onto the travellers. So I've put these loops here. Um, the other thing we agreed on is that we needed um, a reinforcement patch where the halyard came through and uh, Harry, this is Harry our little uh, light, uh, has said that uh, he needs a loop here while I'm stitching it so that he can uh, hang from the centre. Brilliant! <laughs> Well, Beverly and I have decided that um, rather than the rope coming out at the end, um, we're going to have the rope coming out a little bit further up from there. And uh, this is on the inside, so I've had to unpick. And I've just putting some cord, uh, well not cord, it's, um, it's uh, webbing, just to give this section a little bit more support. I've already done one somewhere or other up there um, <laughs> ah, yeah and the final thing uh, just looks like that and the webbing is there and that also because it's the webbing will also mean that the rope won't chafe um, because it can come through there and I've done it to the edge because I haven't made my mind up yet if I'm going to have this pin to the upways or underneath or whatever but the thing is doing it this way where it comes out at the side means that I can make that decision later so um, I've got to stitch this other one up and then tomorrow we'll have yet another go of putting our uh, extension up <laughs> balls on order to um, attach the um, our extension to the back and we're gonna have to have a little bit more of a think here at the front but overall I'm happy enough um, I'm really pleased and it gives feels gives us so much space in our cockpit Question. what on earth have you got now I've got some uh, drainage pipes. This is the last thing we need to uh, put up our uh, extension. So uh, I tell you now, I feel like I'm a sergeant's major. Well, my last of my modifications are in. Um, I've got a little loop on the inside of um, the, the, our, our, our extension. And uh, that's great because not only can I put in a stiffening um, piece of wood, I can also um, attach our um, little light, Harry. So that's great. I did have pockets further out, um, but the, um, this pipe was just not, it's too floppy doppy for it. So I'll take it back that particular pipe. Um, I've got on the tubing on the side uh, we've got the pipe I'm going to just change the design a tiny bit but you don't need to see that 
but um, but basically that just gives the edges a little bit of stiffness um, and I can take it out if necessary but the thing is it just feels a little bit better trimmed and I've left this um, section here so that if I ever want to um, have sides um, I've got some fabric to put that on